I've been looking for this thing for four years. Happy New Year, Braves. Welcome to BBC Monday. I'm Nick Altensee. I'm Kristen Dugan. On today's show, we will have information about upcoming dates, events, club news, and sports. All this and more coming up after the pledge. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. Attention seniors and parents of seniors, you're invited to Boone's 2012-2013 Financial Aid Night taking place tomorrow, January 8th, in the Junior Senior Cafeteria, cafeteria from 6 to 8 p.m. Lori Oxier hash Director of Outreach Services for the Florida Department of Education, will be sharing vital information regarding the steps high school seniors can take to ensure financial aid eligibility for college. Come ready to get some helpful tips and get your questions answered. This week is the final week to purchase your yearbook. You can buy a yearbook by dropping off $75 in room 224 in the upstairs 200 building, or you can order a yearbook online at schoolpay.ocps.net or yearbookforever.com. No books will be sold after this Friday, January 11th. Payment plans are available. Also, any student who purchases a yearbook will get the chance to win a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card. One winner will be announced next week. Get your yearbook today. The world needs more heroes, individuals who model the characteristics of honesty, enthusiasm, respect, and obedience. Heroes make a difference as they positively impact the world and people around them. Here at Boone High School, we want all of our students to be heroes every day. Please watch the following video to learn more about being a hero. Um, honesty is not lying to people and being cool. Um, honesty is just having truth with everything you say and uh, just being a man of your word, basically. Be telling the truth and not lying. Well, uh, honesty is telling the truth regardless of the situation. But not everyone is not honest because a lot of people lie what whatnot. I think that people are honest, but I mean, obviously not everybody's honest. Some people are, some people aren't. Um, it depends on the person and their character. Um, I think honesty is the best policy because you don't want to say, you don't want to not say the truth to people. So you want to say it, it's truth and be a good citizen. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta lie to kind of, not just help yourself out, but kind of help out everybody else. Right. The truth kind of hurts some people sometimes. Um, of course, because if you're not honest, people can't trust you. Now it is time for sports with Andrew Dawson. Good morning Braves, I'm Andrew Dawson and welcome to BBC Sports 2013. In soccer action Friday night, December 21st, the boys soccer team split with Lake Mary. The JV team lost 2-0 while the varsity team won 4-2 on goals scored by Eli Matthews, Tony Kulik, Daniel Hurtado, and Jared Engel. The Boone wrestling team competed this weekend in the tough Lake Mary Holiday Invitational. 
Boone had four wrestlers place top six in the tournament, helping Boone place 11th out of 18 teams. Jail Nazario placed fifth in the 113 pound weight class. Joseph Holmes placed fourth in the 170 pound weight class. And Alex Levy, Levy placed third in the 285 pound weight class. Quante Cobb wrestled a great tournament for the Braves. Quante battled his way into the finals after starting the tournament unseated. He eventually pinned the number one wrestler in his weight class for the championship, also earning the Outstanding Wrestler of the Tournament, awarded by the referees. Boons will be back in action January 5th in the Dillan Duel. Go Braves! Sophomore softball tryouts are Monday and Tuesday at 3. Girls need to have their physicals turned in. Any questions, see Coach Bradford in 13209. That's all for me today, Braves. Now back to Nick and Kristen at the desk. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, everyone, for watching BBC News Monday.